Hello beer tubers and welcome to, well, quite a different beer review. I don't even know if I want to call this a beer review. Let's just call it a beer experiment. Uh, I haven't done an experiment like this before, really. I've just tried, you know, tried aging beer and whatnot. Uh, but this kind of just happened to happen because I got a hold of some very old beer. So that shouldn't be drunk old. So you might have watched my one of my recent, recent reviews uh, reviewing an old can of Firestone Walker's Velvet Merlin. Uh, it's uh, Nitro Merlin. Uh, so I bashed, I didn't bash, but I did like a, a payment, as it's called in Danish, towards a company who distributes it in Denmark and how they're kind of notorious for older beer. They, I, I don't know what's going on with them and you know why you often see their stuff just old on, on the shelves. Uh, I think it's also the amount they get in compared to others, different stuff like that. But during this whole COVID thing, they had a boatload of sales on their uh, Facebook page or via the Facebook page. They did like loads of different sales, which involved you going to their warehouse and picking up beer for like insanely cheap. I got a can of the Rosali for like next to nothing. And Michael, just Michael said, take a can of this and try and review it when it expires just to see how it is. Uh, Cause he bought a case of this, which is Firestone Walker's Mind Haze IPA. So he said, reviewed when it expires, and I think when he bought it, it was probably like two months before it would expire, something like that. Uh, but this mind haze, Fires of Walker. I was massively disappointed in the Nitro Berlin. I didn't even rate it. And this just came to be from that. Hopefully, you know, you'll see this fresher, but I've, I've heard some comments in that video. People said like Fires of Walker is notorious for, you know, distributing everywhere, but everywhere the beer is like old which is a shame. That's why you always want to, you know, drink beer locally and drink local beer and drink beer fresh, at least as fresh as you can. Uh, I mean, two, three months, who cares? A year, six months, now we're talking about two old beer. So this will be really fun to try. A one year old can of Mind Days. This expired on the 18th of June this year, which was the date it was, uh, the year before that was the day it was canned. And we have, uh, August the 26th today, or is it 25th? So it's even further past its prime, 26th. So it's further past its prime, at least by two months plus. It's almost like three, so it's almost like, yeah, a 15 month can of a phase IPA. So I thought this would just, just, you know, be fun to see just how does a beer like this taste when it's this old. You, most of you guys know how these beers are supposed to taste. It's gonna be vibrant and impressive and crazy in the in the flavor department of it. And you know, just like that juicy, vibrant, intense hop character that you've come to love with this style and that's why hazy IPA is everywhere nowadays. Firestone Walker, you know, um, I do enjoy their stuff, but it's been a long time since I've had an IPA from them. Uh, in the States, back in the day when I studied there, I loved, you know, Wookie Jack and, man, that was a great black IPA, wasn't it? And what else? Union Jack and there was a few different ones, like the Jack beers. Easy Jack? But yeah, they've done Hazy IPA since and they have like Luponic Distortion series or whatever. But some of these I hear from a lot of beer reviewers on YouTube that do some core range beers that are actually, they're quite decent. So. We'll see how it is though with this, you know, one year of age. So I don't know about anything, you know, in terms of hops or anything, they don't state it. Matt Brendelson himself said this is, you know, expect what you expect from a hazy IPA, whatever, but we do this a little bit differently without saying what they do. So looking at it, almost all of the haze dropped out in a year. It looks a bit more hazy on camera, but the first parts I poured out of the can uh, were like completely clear. There wasn't any haze to it, but it's it's yeast, most of it, and hot particles, and it will settle eventually uh, in a keg or a can or whatever. That's also why brewers keep saying, like, drink it fresh, 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 because then you know also if you sit on it for too long, like really, really long, some people would probably critique it for not being hazy, or hazy enough. But, again, it can also, sometimes you can be lucky with a can, where it just didn't drop out at all. Usually if you have like a no non-flocculating yeast, but I can see leftover like yeast particles or whatever sediment in the bottom of the can. It smells like really old IPA. It doesn't smell nice, <laughs> but let's see how it is. My days. Again, 
not really much haze to it, but otherwise golden yellow. There's no signs, impressively enough, it looks like, of oxidation. And this has just been standing outside of my fridge, like in the my cellar. Uh, so there's no signs in terms of the color, really. Even though it does smell a bit like it might have oxidized. But this, again, is a vessel that's good to prevent oxidation. It's a can. Not really much air gets in or out. It's probably about the dissolved oxygen in the beer already, but... Yeah, let's check it out. Let's check out the aroma on a one-year-old, no, 50-month-old can of Mind Haze IPA. Okay, that's interesting. It actually doesn't scare me as much as I thought. It just reminds me of smelling West Coast IPAs back in the day when they came to Europe. Because back in the day when we got most of these hoppy beers in Europe from the States, they were like six, seven months old. That was the average back then, like when this whole thing started like 10 years ago. Well, when we started seeing a lot of these imports at least, it didn't start, you know. But a lot of them were like really, really old and you, you had never had anything like and you tried this like really bitter, old, like next to no hop flavor, what was there was just like this old hop character. And you thought that was what it was supposed to taste like and you really enjoyed it. So you're like, wow, this is so different. It's got like this unique, Hoppy character, I really dig. And you saw that a lot with hoppy beers back in the day. Now, you, you know, you don't see that anymore at all because so many European craft breweries exist and loads of them do, you know, hoppy beers with fresh hops. You, you, almost everyone in Europe now have easy access to fresh hoppy beer. So you can't really, you know, say the same as it was back in the day where it's like, it was a like beer desert in most of Europe, some parts of Europe, at least for hoppy beer. So it just, it just smelling it reminds me of just smelling stuff you picked up the shelf, like when I started getting into craft beer, just like the early reviews I did on the channel in 2009. Like, it just reminds me that it has like that hops, almost like hop extract, hop syrupy, tea leafy, old, like one of the, the old hop flavor, oxidized hop flavor or old hop flavors I really get often is like something that smells like tea, black tea and tea leaves and I'm getting loads of that here and also just maybe like an old leafy thing like an almost like a musty leafy like thing like think autumn leaves it sounds weird but I think that's the first time I really ever picked up on that because I hear some people talk about that in old hoppy beer but it's a bit oniony it's garlicky resiny it's not ex smelling it smells like a west coast IPA but let's try it 15 month old New England IPA from Fires and Walker. Oh man, that is no way near what you want out of that style. I'm impressed though, it has a bit of stone fruit. It has a bit of stone fruit. There's like a I think it might be just a leftover yeast ester because it's like sweet and it's not really bitter at all, just a light bitterness. It just smells like it'd be like really like oily west coasty bitter because like it smells like that oily citrus thing a bit, but like really crazy tea leafy hot. It's almost like reminding me of smelling American barley wine because you know people tell you to age that stuff but the hops, you know, the character, of that, the hops in those just like go nuts, like it gets like so crazy, you know, oxidized hop flavor. It almost reminds me of that, but it's not, it's an IPA. What's the ABV by the way? Probably like, okay, 6.2. But that's a big thing really. There's a little bit of a bready malt. There is definitely oxidation signs. That's it there, I got sherry. Like sherry, it's like leafy, sherry, uh, tea leafy hop character with maybe a sing of like a citrus thing, but I, it really just reminds me of drinking beer back in the day when American beer came over because this was what we were used to. It's just nuts. The fact, to think that beer this old was acceptable, you know, back in the day in Europe because no one knew better. You know, if, if you got served this at a bar, where someone would know about beer who drank it, he'd be like, wow, this is a way old cake. I'm not, yeah, that's off. 
because people are more educated nowadays. But if you serve this to someone 10 years ago in Denmark, they'd be like, oh, this is an American IPA. This is very hoppy. Mm. <laughs> but that's not how it is anymore. It's a little bit fun to check it out like this. Like Maybe there's even hints of diacetyl going on too from the age. That, you know, it shouldn't be in there to begin with, but many different flavors can develop over age, of, like with age. Again, with beer, most beer, I don't know if this is, you know, pasteurized or whatever, but most beer, it's unfiltered, unpasteurized or whatever, like the flavors can go like, and like different off flavors occur and whatever. You won't get sick from drinking it unless you drink a lot, you'd be hungover, but most beer you'd be okay to drink even though it's old. But yeah, this is interesting though. It tastes like, it tastes like almost like, it doesn't taste like a New England IPA. It just it reminds me of like really old, old school, more fruity IPA. Like, I don't know, Midwest or maybe Chicago style. But yeah, it's okay. A year of age is not recommendable in, recommendable in any way, shape or form. If you were able to get some fresh IPA locally, the fun thing to do would be getting cans whatever and age one for like you so you can do like a one year can a six month can a three month can and a one month can and death fresh or something like that. if you would do an experiment like that at home just so you can really see how it deteriorates the hoppy character it's crazy and to think back in the day people said like you know the great story of india pale ale the reason why this style exists is because people would add hops to beer to ship to india so it would last longer no, it doesn't taste nice, even though it tastes nice, even though the hops could be, you know, antioxidants. Like, the flavor over time is just terrible. So, no, hops doesn't equal that the beer will last longer, at least in terms of flavor. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not going to grade this because this was just a fun experiment because it's, you know, this is, you know, I haven't taken many sips, but... I'm also not going to finish it, but I think I paid... I, did, I think I didn't pay anything, but I think Michael paid, like, eight crowns about a buck a bottle or a can so and when he got it, it was close to expiring i wonder how it was when he had it if he thought it was decent i'm not entirely sure but i finally got around to do this so yeah i don't know have you guys ever tried you know an experiment like this and had really really old beer i see that this video got along a bit but there was a lot of fun things to talk about but yeah i don't recommend it it's taste oxidized it tastes like this sherry thing not maybe not papery it's Early oxidation, but like sherry and like loads of tea leaf hops. Not very good. So not recommendable to drink IPA this old. But yeah, if you guys had a chance to do experiments like that, let me know what you you know thought of drinking beer that was this old, that was not supposed to be that old. And uh, yeah, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And remember to ring the bell for future notifications about future videos here on the channel, it's right here somewhere. And yeah, I'd like to hear also, how is Mind Haze fresh? That'd be fun, because I've never had it. Only <laughs> a year, 15 month old can. So, cheers guys, and see you maybe in another beer experiment, if I can figure out what to do. <laughs> cheers.